great if you I mean, start start from the beginning again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll start from the beginning. No issues. Okay, thank you. Okay, so today's uh, topic is data filter concepts in integer data stage. Okay, so while we are extracting the data from source, and we need to filter the data, right? So to filter the data, what and all is needed to filter the data? And we need to apply a method to filter the data before loading the data into a destination. Okay. So here, so we have various methods like transformer stage, filter stage, switch stage, and external filter stage. Okay, so we can filter the data, source files and target files. Source files itself, we can filter the data. And in the tables also, source tables also, we can filter the data. So these are the five methods where we can filter the data while extracting data from source. Okay. So transformer stage. Okay, so in transformer stage. So in transformer stage, we have option to filter the data in the constant. Okay. So transformer stage has single input link. And n number of output links. And one otherwise one otherwise link. Otherwise link. I mean, those are rejected data. Okay. Okay, so here, whenever the data that is not needed in the destination, uh, I mean, uh, in the target, so those we will send as a rejected data by choosing the otherwise option, other records. Okay, so in that output link, we can define otherwise option where unnecessary records will go here. Okay, so we'll do one scenario like uh, I have applied data where where i need to filter the data like where employee salary is equals to i mean sorry employee data in that all the managers should go to one output link and second output link all the salesman's record should go to second output link and other records other designation should go to the third output link okay so if my voice is unable to hear, means just uh, there is no point of typing here. Okay, so I was in VM and I cannot see anything here. I, again, I have to come out. So better to voice up. So in the middle of the class, if I ask, if I'm asking, do you have any doubts? Are you able to follow? So that time better to voice up rather than typing is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So almost five minutes I have given the lecture, but none of us uh, just they're simply typing the chat box. So, uh, okay. Yeah, fine. That's okay. Fine. Yeah, we'll continue. So till now, is it clear, right? About transformer stage, what we have discussed. So this is a scenario where we'll be filtering the data in a three output files. So one, one, one file contains all the manager records. The second file contains all the salesman's records with the designation, and the third file contains other records. Okay. Yeah. So we'll continue. So it will be considered as an employee file. So here, first line, make sure that file contains whether it is, we have a header or not. Do that. And, and rest of the options are default. This we have discussed in detail level in the previous session. If you have any doubts, please go and refer the previous recording sessions. OK. So I don't have any double quotes in my data and delimiter. And if you have any null field values, instead a single space.
So we have already imported the table definition. Let's view the data. It is taking more than expected time. Okay. Let's view the data. So once we view the data source data, right, then we are good so that the data will be processed to the next stage. Okay, so this check is very, very important. Uh, whenever uh, you are building any job, whenever you are defining any source file, Okay. Okay, so here we can view the data. So that means uh, what and all we have defined the file properties here, everything is fine. So here uh, there is no delimiter pipe. Okay, so here in the default list. So when, whenever it is other delimiters, we have to mention manually. Okay, so click on, okay, we are good with it. Now double click on transformer. Okay. Yeah. So here we have to do the mapping. And here one more advantage here is unnecessary columns we can drop it off. So while you are extracting the data. So drag and drop, control A. How to do the mapping? Control A, drag and drop. Click on the top side of the link, drag and drop. Okay. And also, same way here. Okay. So here we will remove unnecessary columns. Okay. So I want to remove MGR and higher date. Let's remove that. And I will remove commission also. Just click on delete button in your keyboard. Okay. And similarly in salesman. Okay, so now we are filtering the data. So how to filter the data? So here there is a constant option. So to filter the data in the constant, you have to click on the derivation, double click on derivation. So at the right side, there is a small derivation cell. Okay, so there, click on that. So here you need to filter the data. So here I told job is, I mean, designation should be manager. So what is the designation column here in employee file? So job, job is equals to,
in single quotes job is equal to manager m a n a g e r okay so all the manager records will go here and similarly salesman do the same way job is equals to salesman okay and if if job is not equal to manager job is not equal to salesman other records we can send it to here click on the otherwise option no need to mention any condition here if you click on otherwise other designations automatically will come here so if it is a clerk it will come here if it is a president it will come here if it is an analyst it will come here because it is not matching with manager or a salesman okay is it clear guys click on okay again we have defined the transformer mapping click on okay okay so here manager records manager data salesman okay so here other job titles okay okay so we have defined and now we have to define the target file locations okay so let's uh, let's go to target file let's delete the files in the target Manager dot txt. First line column name true and double quotes none. Null fill value single space. Click on OK. The same way define this. I hope you are familiar with this defining the target file. Okay. So salesman. Okay, now this is also fine. And other steps, the job titles. Other jobs. Okay, text. First line is header. Null fill value single space. Click on okay. Now we have to save this job. So this is our exercise eleven. Okay. The filters you can't say. Okay, so once you have saved the job, the next step is uh, we have to compile. So where we can compile the job? We can compile the job here. 
by going to the option file or uh, Go to file. Run the job now. Okay. So if you press Control L, you can see a window. Here, uh, the log information, everything will be studied here. Another way to view the log is go to Tools, open Run Director. Okay. Can see here. Just a minute. So here, uh, in first file, three records got loaded. In second file, four records got loaded, and uh, third file, eight records got loaded. So total, fifteen records we have. Three plus four, seven. Seven plus uh, eight. 7 plus 8, 15. So here total count is getting matched. What are the records that are extracted from source? And totally it has been distributed into three output files. Okay, so our test case is passed. 15 records has been distributed into three output files. 3, 4, 7, 7 plus 8, 15. Let's see the output now. So output you can see here. And the second option is we can see the output in uh, file. Of okay, so target file manager. You can see our designation belongs to manager. Okay, so each department has a manager. Okay, and let's see salesman. Okay, so department number 30 belongs to marketing. So we have salesmen in the marketing department. Okay, and other designation. Other designation means clerk, analyst. Okay, and president, these are other uh, designations. Yeah. Okay, so that's it guys. So this is the way to filter the data in the transformer stage. So any questions here? There is no point of uh, pinging uh, in WhatsApp, so we had to speak it out. Are you able to follow? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So now let's <clears throat> let's move on to the another scenario. The same exercise: how we can implement using filter stage. Okay. So here in filter stage. 
the concept is same but uh, we have one reject link here so other one reject link is optional one reject link so if you want to define the reject link we can define so reject link is optional so how we can implement the logic? the logic here in builders the concept is simple so we have a where class right in sql the same way we have to write a code like the job is equals to manager like that and compared to the transformer stage versus filter stage so here the performance of the job will get improved when you use the filter stage okay so now let's do the assignment the input is same employee file and i need output manager all the managers are records into one file and salesman's records into another file and other designations into third file okay so let's uh, let's delete the target files So now access 12, okay. Okay, so now drag and drop the filter stage. So filter stage comes here. Yeah, drag and drop. And make a connectivity. Okay. So here we have where class, and that is the linking order. Linking label starts with 0, 1, 2, like that. Okay. So here output records. Whenever it is not matched, so set to true. So that means reject of records will go here. And you need to set this link as a rejected link. Set to reject. Okay. Now let's define where class where job is equals to manager. Single quotes you have to give. M A N A G E R. Output link. Zero. We have to provide the label, link label here. Zero. Okay. And this is very important. Again, where class job is equals to salesman. Okay. Okay, so other other uh, designations here, whenever it is not match, no, I have set this option as true. Okay, so here uh, it should be, let us set this uh, option true whenever the records are not getting matched. Okay, so go to transformer, I mean, go to output. So here the mapping is done already. For rejected link, mapping is not permitted. Okay. So here, the reject link mapping is not permitted.
Okay. That's it, guys. Click on okay. And we have already defined the file names. Okay. Now save compiler knowledge. So in the target, nothing is there. See here the criteria get matched, right? So let, let's see the output. Manages other designations. See here list clerk, president for that, and sells me. Okay. So this is the way to filter the data in Transformers. So so we have done the same exercise in filter stage. What we have done in the Transformers. So what is the difference here? So, what is the difference here? Anyone has any idea? So, what is the main difference here? So, when you use the filter stage, the performance of the job gets improved. Normally, your uh, requirement is to filter the data. Your requirement is to only to filter the data from the source, then go for filter stage. Okay, so your requirement is not, uh, I mean, uh, if you, you need to filter the data and you have to apply some data type conversions and you need to create some stage variables. If that is the case and that, that is the requirement and uh, better to go for transformer stage because instead of uh, increasing the more number of stages in the job, so better to use one stage so that the performance of the job will get simple. So trust, data type conversion, stage variable creations, that and all we won't do in uh, filter stage, right? So in filter stage, we will only filter the data. Okay. So transformer stage is a multiple uh, uh, multiple options we have. Data filter, data type conversion, stage variable creation, and various transformation functions. So transformer stage is a powerful uh, data transformer in uh, data stage okay yeah so any questions guys here any questions all good i'm good okay what about this only one person is yeah, we are good. Okay, sir. So, right. Okay, right. So now let's move on to another job. So the same concept. So here we will do somewhat different. Okay. So in switch stage, um, we will do some different scenario. So here I have uh, single input link and uh, n number of, not n number, 128 is the maximum output link. Max. Max 128 output links that we can define. One reject link. Okay. So here we'll do one different scenario. Uh, like, uh, so all 10th department data should go to one file. And 20th department should data should go to other file. And others, other departments should go to another, another file. So that is our requirement. Okay. So 10th department, one file. And 20th department, another file. And other department, other, other than 10 and uh, 20 should go to another file. 
So that is our requirement. So we are filtering the data and distributing the data into three output files. Okay. So now let's see that. So by using a switch stage. So switch also we can filter the data. Okay. And the difference is here switch only filters the data on a single column. Single column filter. But in switch stage, filter stage, switch stage we have single column filter, but in filter stage we have multi-column filter. Multi-column. Multi-column means more than one column. Multi-column filter. So here we can write a filter condition here. With the where class, how we will write in SQL now. So and department number is equals to then like that conditions we can write. Okay. So how we'll write in SQL the same way you can write. So that is the advantage of uh, filter stage. But in uh, switch stage, we have only uh, we can filter the data on a single column filter. Okay. Yeah, now let's go on. Okay. So let's copy the same design. Let's delete this. We need to switch here, right? And drag and drop the switch. So double click on switch here, select our field. We have to select the column where we want to operate. And one more thing, switch works on a case statement. Switch stage. Switch stage works, works, on, works on a case statement. Okay, so here it works on a case statement. Here it works on a case statement. Okay. So here we are defining the user defined mapping where based on the output. And we have auto auto mapping also we can give. And instead of auto mapping, uh, auto mapping, better to go for user defined mapping. That we can decide here. Okay, so let's uh, consider cases here, department number 10. And the second case we have is 20. And if it is not found, send to output. Output in the sense what? Reject. So output will send to the data to reject it. Okay. So here the third one we have rejects, right? So let's modify this file uh, center. So, Department number 10, EPT number 20, other departments, okay, and rename this also. Others. Double click on this. Yeah, we have defined everything, right? So you need to check where uh, the labeling has uh, mapped accordingly. So department number 10, 20, we have given an order, right? First 10, 20, and others. Okay, the same way is order is mentioned the same way or not, that you have to check, double check here. So this is very, very important. Okay. And click on okay. Yeah, so this department 10 and 20. 
and others. For reject link, no mapping is not permitted. Click on OK. Save compile and run this job. Let's save this job first. Yeah, so go to jobs folder. So ours is X is 13. We have done all so far. This is the 13. Now run the job. So I have directly clicked on run button. So first it will save and compile, then run. Yes. Yeah. Click on run. So here I have not changed the this thing's case. See here five three five seven. Okay, so let me change the this thing here. Department number ten dot txt. And run this job. You can see here all are 10. Here we can see 30 and 50 departments. Okay. So now we have changed the file name. Now it will be different. Let's delete all the files here. Run the job now. Job started running. Yeah, three, five, seven. Now oh, let's see here. We have got completed. So 10th department, 20th department. So here you can see 8th department. 8th and other 30. Okay. So there is no 10 and 20 here. Any questions, guys, of this exercise? Now let's move on to another method by using external filter stage. So this is not that much important. We want to use this stage at all in real time. Okay. So this is the rare scenario. So let's go through the work exercise sheet.
So we have completed switch stage. Okay. So now let's work on uh, external filter stage. So here in external filter stage, so IP is one, OP is one, okay? Single input link and single output link. Now let's uh, define the, copy this. External filter stage. Dragon drop file. So here we have defined the file and all. I think it's fine. Now double click on external filter stage. So here just you have to use the grep command. Filter the data grep and the salesman salesman and load the columns here click on okay define the target External filter, I have given the filter condition. True. filter stage. Okay. Click on save. Let's delete the files in the output. Now run the job. So here we are filtering the data by using external filter stage by using a grep command. So whenever we have input data as a file, so during the file, uh, if you want to filter with a, some specific pattern mode, okay? Click on auto output. See here you can see all the records belongs to sales. Okay. So here it works on a condition with a Unix command. Grab. That way you can filter the data by using external filter state. Okay. Sir, so this Unix command we can give in sequential file itself, right? Uh, this. Yes, yes. Yeah. yes, yes. So this yeah. is just an extra stage, and you, uh, ah, yeah. but we can do that work from sequential file stage also, right? Yes, 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 exactly. Okay. How we can filter the data? Uh, by using a database filter, database. So till now we have not connected uh, databases. So let's see that. Okay. So let's copy. How to filter the data by using database connectors. I will use input data, this one. Right click connector. And no need of direct uh, transformation under, I mean, transformer. In, in the filter itself, we will be filtering the data, right? So 
So let's see that. So let's open DP now. Okay. So enter the login parameters, username, OAUPS, server name, OACL, Scott, enter the change password. Okay. So I hope everyone remember the change password. So generate the SQL during the runtime. Generate the SQL during the runtime. Yes means you have to define the table name so that uh, it will be uh, defined during the runtime. So I don't want to define the SQL during the runtime. I have clicked on no here. And you have to define your own SQL statement. Okay. So what is my own SQL statement? Select star from EMP where job is equals to salesman. Okay. In the form. So this is the query. The same query you can see here. Okay. So from employee table, I'm extracting the sales message record. Click on okay. So let's view the data. So this database connector that will connect to uh, old uh, Oracle database and pulls the data from there. It's in process, just a minute. So here you can see all our data belongs to salesman. Okay. Click on OK. you can write here. Okay, so we have done before. Okay, yeah, this is still. So we have done 15 exercises so far. Okay. So this is a 15 exercise. Data filter, database. Filter, okay. Click on save now. Click on run. Now we can see the output here. Okay. That's it. So this is the way to filter the data by using a spell step. Okay. So any questions guys here? All good. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.